Good morning, my beautiful followers. How is everyone at one this morning? So, when you've got elephants, that is the title. So what the heck are we talking about today? Because elephants don't really seem to be a part of relationships. But yet they are. Yet they are. So the other day I was speaking to a lovely male client of mine and I asked him if I could <clears throat> use his story and so he said yes and so I'm gonna share a, a bit of it. Sorry I have a <clears throat> frog in my throat and you might see a kitten running through here but anyway, anyway. So this particular man was talking to me about his wife. He was like, you know, we had this big argument and I don't understand why she can't just let it go. Why can't she just let it go? We had a nice night the next night. We've been talking. She continues to come back to it. She, you know, she waits for those good moments and then she wants to talk about it. What the heck? What the heck? And I was like, it sounds like you guys have an elephant in the room. Sounds like you have this gigantic elephant in the room in your relationship. And he's like, yeah, but like, why can't she just get over it? Like, why do we have to go there? And I, I pointed out how uh, he is being very conflict avoidant. Uh, but he was like, well, I don't understand why we have to talk about everything I know my my perspective. She knows her perspective. We just need to move on. And I sat there and I really, really talked. I talked his scenario out with him because there's more specifics. But I don't want to break any confidentiality here. Uh, but I sat there and, and we talked. And afterwards, after the session, I sat thinking because guess what? Sometimes we need to just let shit go. And I know that that is not really like the mental health approved way of, of dealing with things. It's like, no, if something comes up, little things can become big things. And while they can, little things really can become big things, sometimes we all have an off day. Sometimes we all say something we, we mean, but it comes off unintentionally. And so there are times when we really, in relationship, need to let shit go. Because what ends up happening is we start getting into this nitty-gritty place of, like, you did this and that hurt my feelings. And then we start to really spiral in a relationship. And it becomes more negative than positive. However, that being said, and there are a lot of things that do need talked about in our relationships. Our relationships of any kind, whether that is with our intimate partner, with our best friend, with our acquaintances, or with our children. With our children. If you have children, guess what? You can have elephants in the room between you guys. And I promise you, those will get between you and your relationship with your kids. And if they never get talked about, what ends up happening is you get to hear about it when they're in therapy, when they're 40 years old. But Today we're really going to focus in on your intimate romantic partner. And the fact is these things can ruin relationships when we have these elephants in the room. Because when we go from angry, frustrated, all of these negative swirling emotions, even if you go and you guys start laughing and joking, have some amazing sex even, and you have these connective moments, guess what? This energy over here is still there, it is still there. If it's something significant, okay, if you didn't load the dishwasher, we can sometimes forget that, forget that moment. However, these big elephants in the room don't go away. They just stay there. And what ends up happening is you have this mistrust of the other person. You're like, am I in this energy? Am I in this energy? Can I trust what's coming at me right now? Can I trust what's coming at me? And then this, this particular client brought to the attention, he said, you know, she continues to ruin the good moments with wanting to talk about this shit, and I don't want to talk about it. And I'm like, what ends up happening a lot of times in these kind of scenarios is one partner waits for the other one to be in a good mood, it's happy, things are going well, in order to feel safe to talk about 
a topic that, that is on their heart is really bothering them. And so both can actually be very conflict avoidant, but one is being conflict avoidant and just kind of biding their time. Um, the other one is just completely conflict avoidant and is not wanting to talk about things, sweep things under the rug. But you know what? The more, if, if we continue to sweep things under the rug, that rug becomes heaping and you're not sure what to trust. This a lot, it really does ruin the good moments because if you just sat and had a conversation, not a screaming match, but a conversation once both parties have calmed down because there is sometimes a need for a little bit of space, a little bit of time. These things are healthy practices in our relationships. But if you continue to sweep things under the rug and just never talk about it because it's just difficult or it's hard, what ends up happening is we build resentment. We build up assumptions about the other person. And I know we could go all spiritual on this and go, oh, well, you know, that's the other person's responsibility to not hold resentment and to not hold assumptions. And But the fact is, when we're not getting communication on a topic, our brains naturally, from a biological standpoint, will start filling shit in. They start filling shit in, and a lot of times, it's worse than what the truth is. It is oftentimes worse than the truth. So if you were to just sit and talk with that other person, then that will decrease those assumptions and the resentment. And the resentment. Now, yes, it is each person's responsibility if they're going to hold on to resentment or not. However, there is a, a trust that gets lost in these moments. There's also a decrease in intimacy because I can promise you if somebody, ha if there's three elephants in your, your bedroom, if there's three elephants at your dinner table, there is no intimacy being connected. There is no connective moments. You are, it is false. It is overlying this, these big elephants and time does not heal all wounds. That is a bullshit belief system. That is an old belief system. Time does not heal all wounds. We heal all wounds in relationship. We heal them. But time does not heal wounds. I know people, I remember working with people in their 70s and 80s when they're getting ready to die when I was a therapist. You know, they're on the brink of death with, you know, they had eating disorders. But the fact is they had held resentments and they had held hurts from the time they were in their 20s and sometimes from the time they were children. So time does not heal all wounds. And so that belief system will ruin your relationship, whatever kind of relationship, but especially your intimate relationships. You cannot get into a space of unconditional love when you have these, these huge elephants in the room. You can get, I want to tweak that. You can get into a space of unconditional love, but the love from the very, this realm will be decreased. You will have a decrease in your intimacy and your love in the relationship and the relationship will break down. The other thing is this not wanting to talk about the elephants in the room oftentimes can be a manipulative strategy. So let me tell you a, a story. I remember years ago, and this was probably about five years ago, I was dating somebody, and there was some pretty big elephants in the room, but I didn't want to rock the boat. I didn't want to talk about it. I didn't, I was, I was very conflict avoidant, and I still am pretty, like I'm not, I am not a fan of conflict. However, I get to a point where I'm like, okay, we really need to have this conversation. Uh, because this is decreasing any any ability for us to really communicate. So anyway, I I remember this, and I was like, I'm going to wait. to I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait because we had a big party to go to. We had, and I was like, I want him him there with me. I like, I want to, I want to date to the party. I want, you know, it was a a big function. I was like, if I if I if we have this conversation and it goes bad, then we're not going to be able to go the, this this uh, gala function together. 
And I remember that was so, that was a manipulative strategy. And looking back, I was like, wow, that was pretty manipulative because it's avoiding talking about shit to get what you want. And yes, I just threw myself under the bus, but it is a void. If you are waiting and not dealing with elephants in the room because you're trying to get something out of that person before you blow things up, before you have the conversation, before you talk about the difficult things, guess what? That is manipulation. That is crazy levels of manipulation of that other person and of the relationship. Now, there's times when, when a, a hard conversation, it, it's not called for in that moment. So there are, you know, if, if there is severe health things going on, if there's an emer- meaning like there's a health emergency or things like that, you know, there are times when we can wait. But if you're doing it just so that you are more comfortable and you get what you want, then you need to look at yourself and you need to go, Why am I waiting? And is this a healthy relationship strategy right here? Is this love? Is this respectful of this this romantic relationship? If the answer is no, then you know what you probably need to do. And then on the other end, again, men and women who don't like conflict or are wanting to nitpick guess what? If you need to talk about every single little thing, then that's an issue too. That's an issue on the other end. That is pushing your partner away and disconnecting because you're fearful of the intimacy. You're fearful of having good times. You need to ruin every good time by stirring something. So look at both because the fact is, We don't want to live with elephants in the room. And on our big scenarios, on the stuff that really, really gets to us, we need to discuss that. And on the stuff that's like nitty gritty, we need to be careful how much we're we're constantly stirring the negative pot. Now, if you have these little things happening all the time, that becomes a big thing. Then it is something that's important. And then before I jump off, I want to make the other point. The fact is, if I, sorry, the cat just, cat just took me, squirrel moment, squirrel Addison moment. She is getting into something she's not supposed to be getting into. So if you are constantly uh, nitpicking, then that's not healthy either. And so I'll just leave it at that. I will leave it at that since since Ms. Zoe Bell took my, took my point away from me. So I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. If you're interested in healing your relationship, up leveling your life to orgasmic, orgasmic life, not a sex, sex-filled life, but an orgasmic life, then reach out to me at addisonbell.net and we can set up a call or a in-person consult and get you on your way for the rest of 2021. We are running out of time in 2021. Guys, get your butts in gear. So, all right, I'm going to head out for the day because I've got a bunch of stuff to go do and explore. And I will see you guys tomorrow for another Addison Unleashed. Love you guys. Bye.